Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is John Neuer and today I will be showing you how to put studs in your one wheel tire. So for all you winter riders out there, studding your tire is going to give you a lot more grip in icy and even hard packed snow conditions. So it is definitely something you're going to want to do if you are planning on being an avid winter rider. Now I've already got some installed, but I need to put some on this outer chunk so I'll be showing you how to install them. Now the studs I've been using are the iGrip SS06 six millimeter tire studs. Uh, I think they're usually meant for like fat tire bikes, but they are really good for this application. Now there are other options out there. I know there are some cheaper options on Amazon. These are actually a little expensive, but they all do the same thing. It's just gonna come down to like the threads on the studs themselves and how well they'll bite into the tire also you're gonna want a more hard tire compound for those threads to really not want to pull out of there if you have a softer tire compound like i do i have a burris five and a half tx 22 that's the like medium softness and i sometimes am a little worried that these will pull out of here but i haven't seen much issues yet they've held pretty damn good any kind of stud you buy whether it's the ones that are supposed to go on your shoe off of amazon or these ss06 eye grip ones they're going to come with a tool to install the studs now in the world of tire studs these things are pretty dang small they're kind of a little bit of a pain to install they have a different method for the larger studs with eye grip and the method for installing these just a little bit of pain in the butt but it is manageable I totally forgot to add how many studs to use. I used about 52 studs in my tire, but you can definitely use more and you could use a little less. It's gonna be up to personal preference. So back to the video. Now the tool from iGrip is a quarter inch drive. So I just slap it on my impact and then this fits in here and it allows you to drill these in. All right, so things you will need your studs, the bit that came with them to install them. I highly recommend a drill. You can do them by hand. It's, it's really not good. Um, so I would recommend a drill. And then I would use a Sharpie. If you have a silver one, it shows up better, obviously on the black tire. But if you use the Sharpie, you can mark where you want the studs and then it's easy to just drill them on it. Now my original thought was I have 26 rows of tread like this. So if I put one, two, three, four in every other tread, it would end up pretty good. But it was a little bit of an oversight because all of these in the middle are lined up together. If I would go back and do this again, I would have these two here and these two here, just a little bit of an offset so that it's gripping more coming around as opposed to having a lot of grip here and not much here. Now you shouldn't have to worry too much about clearance. Uh, the GT I've noticed is kind of not the best for clearance. And even so, I haven't had any problems even in a free spin with these studs rubbing against anything. It is prime. So you got all your holes marked out as to where you want them. Personally, I do it with the tire inflated, ready to go. You're gonna want your tire sealant ready for after you put these in. Since I already put some of these in, I have tire sealant in the tire already. I might have to add more. Armadillos is good or tire candy from One Wheel Parts. All right, so you got your stud, you got your uh, drill. You're gonna fit that in there, line it up on your mark, and you're gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure and start drilling that in. I like to check and see, cause I don't want to sink this too far down. There were a couple that I sunk a little too far in and then you kind of tear up the tire trying to get it out. You just want the shoulder of these studs to be embedded into the tire a little bit. So you just apply pressure, start screwing it in. 
And just like that, shouldered up nice, and she's in there. Now, if you get one that goes in a little bit too deep, you can back it out. Just a little bit should be fine. And now she's perfect. Sometimes they're stubborn. And they don't want to bite quite right. But just keep at it and they'll sink in nice. I like to always have the stud that I'm putting in at the top of the tire so I'm not trying to push to the side and rolling everything all over the place. Just so that you have nice, even pressure pointing downwards. Sometimes you'll get ones that'll bite right away, nice and easy for you. Sometimes you get ones that you gotta fight with. It's just the way of the road, bubs. Now I will have links in the description for the studs that I'm using and also an alternative on Amazon. Well, that was a nice last one. It bit immediately. That was nice of it. All right, she is all studded up, ready to go. Now what I like to do is just give it a quick free spin and see if anything is rubbing. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing. Now that's what we like to see. So there it is, all studded. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description below with some other options in case you wanna get different studs because I know that these eye grip studs are not cheap, but she is looking pretty minty. All right, well, I wish you luck on your studded tire adventures. It is a game changer in the ice and snow. If you want to see how the mustache rails perform, there's a video right up here, and uh, it's my review of them. They are amazing. All right, catch you next time. Peace.